Gold falling below 1400 late Wednesday morning. We have Jim Wyckoff next. Jim, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Danielle. Always nice to be with you. So we saw gold drop below that $1,400 mark earlier this morning. Jim, what's adding to the selling pressure here? Well, Daniela, we're seeing a bit of uh, profit taking from the shorter term traders after the recent run up here. Uh, also seeing a little bit of pressure on, a, on, on technically related selling a technical pullback. Markets don't go straight up or straight down. And many times in an uptrend like we see in gold, you'll see a corrective pullback uh, that just occurs uh, in the natural state of the marketplace. So, Jim, we saw gold, crude oil, and the U.S. dollar index all under selling pressure around the same time that President Obama was making remarks during a press conference in Sweden. Apparently, his remarks uh, regarding Syria was, were deemed by the marketplace as being more restrained. Right, Daniela. Uh, yeah, his, he, he certainly was not hawkish in his uh, rhetoric uh, Wednesday morning. However, I do think that the overall sense of the marketplace is that uh, the U.S. Congress will get behind the president and probably at some point down the road be a measured uh, military strike. But what the market, what's important for uh, traders and investors to realize is that the marketplace is slowly digesting the fact that this military strike is probably going to happen. Uh, the marketplace is becoming less anxious because it's more of a known now and less of an unknown. Uh, and that has uh, taken some of the safe haven demand away from the gold market uh, due to the uh, less uncertainty regarding what, what the U.S. Uh, is going to do regarding the Syrian situation. So, Jim, we're speaking. It's the start of a new month. We'll have jobs reports out this Friday. Do you feel that there's a new energy in the marketplace? Yeah, I do, Daniela. Uh, several things make me think that. Number one, we've just seen the U.S. and uh, European holiday and summertime vacation season end, and I think there is going to be more vibrance in the marketplace overall. I am seeing signs of uh, renewed interest in the raw commodity sector based upon uh, better economic data coming out of the U.S., out of the European Union, and out of China. That all augurs for increasing demand for raw commodities. We see the price of crude oil well above uh, $100 a barrel, that's bullish. Uh, so there are several factors at work that I think are going to reinvigorate the raw commodity sector. And the fact that many raw commodities have been beaten down fairly hard, I think you may also see some speculative interest come back in on the long side. Jim, what's also interesting is we're seeing some banks return to bullish calls for gold. We saw Goldman Sachs revise their forecast upwards to 1388 up from $1,300 gold. We also saw SockGen reiterating their call for $10,000 gold. What do you think of these calls? Right, Daniela, and the reason you're seeing that in my mind is that the technical, the near-term technical posture of both gold and silver has improved markedly the past few weeks. In fact, both gold and silver markets are in near-term price uptrends on the daily charts at present. All right, Jim, let's get to your Wyckoff market rating now for gold and silver this week and support and resistance levels for these two metals. Okay, for uh, December COMEX gold, we've got resistance at the August high of 1434. We've got solid technical support at 1350. I'm giving a Wyckoff market rating on gold of six, which is in the bullish camp. Regarding uh, December COMEX silver, we've got solid support at the $23 level. Solid overhead resistance at the August high of 25.16, and I'm also giving silver a white cost market rating of six, which is in the bullish camp. You just keep inching higher, Jim, on those calls. Thank you so much. Can't wait till next time, Daniela. Bye bye. And thanks for watching this edition of Technically Speaking. You can email us at newsfeedback.kiko.com or you can join the conversation on Twitter. Follow me at Daniela Camboni. Thanks for watching.